Welcome to Opal TV. Today I'm in Bodrum in Turkey together with Boris Kaya. Boris has been running a CTA business out of Bodrum. For the last six years, he has been focusing on developing a market timing strategy. He has been running a currency futures based intraday strategy very profitably and he is now developing also a equity strategy with holding periods between 1 and 10 days. Both strategies are very unique and interesting and Boris is going to tell us now more about his personal background and more details about these strategies. I received my business degree in Turkey in 2000 and uh, after receiving my degree I started working on the sales side of the business. As a sales trader I had the opportunity to work with some of the top EM hedge fund managers. I learned a lot from them, discussed many trading ideas, methodologies and at some point after the crisis uh, in 2012 I decided to go developing my own strategies, my own methods uh, and I started a company for myself on quantitative trading and research sector and I started researching about market timing methodologies. Uh, so since 2012 uh, my whole focus is about market timing. I want to prove that consistently high sharp ratio and low volatility can be achieved via this timing methodology in currency markets and uh, also some different versions of the timing methodology works well within equity markets and in some other markets. I want to prove that this can be done uh, because I, I recently I realized that most of the managers have given up on market timing so that's why I think this is a really interesting edge. So Boris, tell us more details about the strategy. I know that you have an amazing hit ratio, that you have an absolutely astounding sharp ratio. Tell us how exactly do you do that? It is based on mathematical and pattern recognition techniques that I applied on currency markets and the opportunity is really in the short term space. The average trading duration is around 20 minutes and generally there are just one or two trades during the day. Uh, it's, so it's not a high frequency trade but it's really short term trade. The edge is there, the edge is on the timing side. And also it's a conservative strategy, it's the lever average leverage used is around two times and the maximum leverage uh, limit that I've set for this strategy is 15 times but out of 400 trades in the last, last one year there was only 5 to 6 trades or uh, more, more than 10 times leverage. Hit ratio is around 90% and uh, on the 10% losing, losing trades I have a very simple risk management methodology which is daily 1% stop loss limit on a portfolio level and monthly 2.5% stop loss level. So in terms of capacity it really depends on what kind of signals we get during the day because some of the contracts on CME are really not liquid uh, compared to the others so it very much depends on the blend of the signals that we get during the day. But on average, I think the capacity of this strategy is around 50 million. So Boris, I wonder, you have a 90% hit ratio, you have a sharp ratio of 8, you know, how do people react when you tell them these numbers? Some people believe and they, they want to know more about it, but some people think that it's too good to be true. Uh, but I tell them that uh, I'm not the only person generating such exceptional results. I monitor some other funds and uh, CTAs that are producing similar results. And at the end of the day, uh, I, I'm working with an accounting and compliance firm in Chicago. So uh, it's always possible to verify results with them and it's a very credible company. So this makes uh, things a lot easier for both parties. So Boris, I know that you have also had some success in working with some of the well-known or better known emerging manager platforms where often you're ranked number one. Tell us about your experience and your benefits of working with those platforms. Yes, there are many benefits working with those platforms. Uh, on one side, they, they are 
uh, verifying my results. They are getting my statements from brokers. So that uh, it's part of a due diligence process now from in some cases. On the other hand, they give me exposure to different kind of investors around the globe. So recently you have expanded your market timing methodology from currency futures into global equities. How are the results looking like? Results are okay, but uh, to be honest, it's too, it's too early to get excited about because I'm, I'm only trading this strategy with Lycap like the last three months. Uh, but it gives a clear indication that uh, my performance both on equity and uh, currency futures, they are, they are not based on luck, but uh, based on skill. It's a global equity momentum strategy. It trades US, UK, German and Japanese stocks in an automated fashion. Holding periods are from one day to 10 days and uh, the hit ratio overall is around 75%. Uh, I made 103 trades out of this strategy and there are 78 trades winning, 25 losing trades. So Boris, I think this is absolutely exciting. Tell us, where do you go from here? I'm planning to develop uh, different versions of this timing methodology and test whether it works on more liquid markets like E-mini, S&P futures or some other index futures contracts.